Confused about the cosmos? Can't tell a planet from a star? Then give us just five minutes and we'll show you what they are. Jack Horkheimer, Stargazer, tells you all about the night sky and the biggest show of all, the universe. And now, this week's episode. The super bright star which shines on the autumnal equinox. Greetings, stargazers. This show was produced before your favorite stargazer, Jack Horkheimer, passed away on August 20th. But I'm sure he still wants you to know what's up in the night sky. Last Wednesday, September 22nd, was the first day of autumn, the autumnal equinox. But did you know that if you go outside any night during the first weeks of autumn of any year and look straight up, you will see one of the brightest stars in the heavens almost overhead? And that our sun and earth are actually flying toward it and getting closer to it every day? Let me show you. Okay, we've got our skies set up for any clear night the first weeks of autumn between the hours of 8 and 9 p.m. your local time. And if you look straight up, almost overhead, you will see an extremely bright star right next to four dimmer stars, which, if connected by lines, would make a lopsided rectangle which is more properly called a parallelogram. These stars, plus a handful of others, make up the ancient constellation Lyra the Harp. But Lyra's brightest star, Vega, is the real attention grabber. It's the fifth brightest star, and compared to our sun, it's a doozy. For starters, while our sun is 865,000 miles wide, Vega is over twice as wide, two million miles. And Vega's blue-white color tells us that it is a super hot star, much hotter than our own yellow-orange sun. In fact, our sun's surface temperature is a mere 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit, whereas Vega's is a blistering 17,000 degrees Fahrenheit. So because Vega is much bigger and hotter, it is 60 times brighter. Talk about getting a suntan in a hurry. But one of the really nifty things about Vega is that it once was, and will again be, our North Star, a much brighter one than our current North Star, which is the end star of the handle of the Little Dipper. You see, the North Star is simply the star directly above our Earth's North Pole, the one towards which our Earth's axis points. But because of a regular, very slow wobbling motion of our Earth, like a top slowing down, our Earth's axis doesn't always point to the same spot in the heavens. In fact, our Earth's axis traces out a great circle in the sky. Right now, our Earth's axis is pointed to a spot on that circle very close to our current North Star. But the Earth's axis slowly drifts, constantly changing where it points in that circle. A hundred years from now, it will point even closer to our current North Star. But a thousand years from now, it will be well past it. And once every 26,000 years, it points to Vega. So 14 and a half thousand years ago, Vega was the North Star of our caveman ancestors. And Vega will be our North Star once again, 11 and a half thousand years from now. Wow. But what I really love about Vega is that it marks the direction our sun and earth are headed. In fact, our Sun and Earth are racing towards Vega at the incredible speed of 12 miles per second. But Vega is so far away, it would take our Sun almost 500 million years to reach it. And unfortunately, by the time we get there, Vega will have already moved. So don't pack your bags for Vega yet. Just go out any night the first few weeks of autumn between 8 and 9 p.m., look overhead, and contemplate the incredible beauty of this brilliant blue-white star. And as Jack always says, keep looking up. Make the Stars Your Own is available on DVD or VHS for $19.95.